The Consumer Electronics Show is usually a place for far-out gadgets. I'm going to get two tomorrow. <laughs> but in the center of the fancy new hall this year, among robot arms and holograms, crowds gathered around this 18-ton piece of farming equipment, John Deere's autonomous sprayer. You just turn it loose, and it drives along, spots and kills weeds. No driver, no remote control. It would take 6,000 people to, to cover the, the same amount of ground. Farming is under intense pressure in the United States. Just ask Travis Center. John Deere brought him here from his farm in Arkansas. People are, are moving away from the rural areas, and so you don't have that labor force that you have. Not only that, Travis is a young farmer at 44. The average age in the U.S. is 57 for farmers, and as they retire, fewer are replacing them. Combine that with billions more people on a warming planet and demand for food forecast to rise by 70 to 100 percent, we have a problem. You have less land, more population, more demand for food. We believe technology is the solution to solving that problem. The concept here is that a family of four could conceivably run an entire farm using a fleet of robots like this. The Consumer Electronics Show is, in fact, full of agriculture technology. Deere showed us a system that fires 30 seeds into the ground a second and fertilizes each one individually. This technology, by dosing the seed exactly with the amount it needs, saves over 60 percent or 93 million gallons wow. of nitrogen. Leave it to a robot and fields may not even need to be planted in rows any longer. We've seen a ton of changes over the last 186 years. So let your mind wander and it could happen. Jake Ward, NBC News, Las Vegas. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.